These are the images of devastation, intense flames engulfing homes and threatening lives. But the true damage from these raging wildfires is only realized after the flames subside and Mother Nature is left to heal. Researchers say in the coming years, as temperatures rise, these fires may occur more often. In eastern Washington, this forest still charred from a fire that burned last year. The trees are struggling to grow back, an issue some say is part of an alarming trend. Normally fire goes through, trees grow. That's natural. But what we're seeing is about 40 percent of the time now with climate change, that's not happening. Grant Canary says intense fires can burn through inches of topsoil, torching tree seeds and making forest regrowth nearly impossible. His company, Drone Seed, is looking to change that. We utilize heavy lift drone swarms and we go out there and we deploy seed vessels. And then you're basically doing exactly what nature would be doing, which is spreading these seeds out, getting more trees, uh, making those forests grow. Why do we need the forests? They're literally the most sci-fi thing you could possibly have. It's a, a machine that self-replicates, it builds itself, and it sucks carbon out of the air. This is our fleet. These are the drones Drone Seed uses to replant burn zones. With up to five in the air at a time, these high-tech flyers can create a 3D map of an area with up to a centimeter of accuracy, all to rig the odds of survival and find the best place to drop so-called seed vessels, small cubes made of fibers, fertilizer, and tree seeds. This is the most cost-effective and scalable way to do it today. In fact, Canary says his robots work six times faster than human planters and have the capability to plant 20 million trees in less than six months. How close of an eye do you keep on this area? Uh, we're out here weekly. Outside Seattle, we hike down to see Drone Seed's first-ever drop zone. While the technology has evolved leaps and bounds, this is still Mother Nature. This seedling, a few inches tall, was dropped from the sky about a year ago. The end goal is actually decades, perhaps even hundreds of years from now, when the trees fully mature and the canopies look something like this. Today, pink flags mark over 100 tiny seedlings. They may not look like much, and if you don't know where they are, you might miss them. This one's big. That's great. But for drone seed, this is ground zero for the fight against climate change. While the impacts are not yet obvious, in a few decades, when these seedlings are fully grown, the benefits will be clear. We want to be able to make a dent in carbon emissions, and trees are the most efficient way to do that. 